Hi, let's talk about the forced obsolescence of products. In this case, uh, today's newfangled internet connected devices. Now, uh, the company we're going to talk about is Sonos. Uh, you may have heard of them. They're like, are they number one? I don't know. I don't have one of these uh, things. But uh, like, audio streaming, uh, home audio streaming device where you have, you know, the speaker and the streaming device that connects to your network and uh, you can stream all your songs and play your, you know, use it as a remote speaker, whatever it is. And it runs via an app on your phone and all that newfangled stuff, right? Well, Sonos have uh, come under a lot of flack um, in the last week. They've just released that they're ending support for the CR100, which if you haven't seen it, is one of their original wi like um, wireless uh, controllers for it. So that a dedicated controller so that you can actually see the songs playing on there. And, um, you know, like actually control the thing. You don't need your newfangled smartphone to do it. And there's lots of reasons why smartphones are inconvenient. Uh, you may not always have it, or it might be charging, it might be out of charge, you might, you know, you've got to swipe to get into it, past your security and all that sort of stuff. Just, you want to adjust the volume or, or change song. You know, it can be really annoying. That's why these sorts of dedicated controllers for products, really nothing beats a proper dedicated controller for the task. Um, everyone's pushing, you know, things to smartphones these days, and it's, ugh, it's maddening. It's really annoying. Stop it. Um, <laughs> dedicated controllers are pretty much always the way to go, the best way to go. Anyway, they announced that they are ending support in, uh, as of April, it will simply cease to function. It's not that it'll just gradually fade out. There, there you go. It will no longer connect. It'll be just be dead like that. They'll just shut off support for it. And that's the problem that we see over and over in the industry with all these internet connected things that rely on the the manufacturer or a or a service or whatever internet of things device you know the server shuts down boom they drop they discontinue support for it boom it just vanishes or in this case they can deliberately uh, the manufacturer can say, right, we're not going to support that anymore, rather than just gracefully let, you know, just not do any updates for it or whatever. They can actually shut it off. And that's what they plan to do here. The hardware will become, unless somebody can hack it uh, to make it work again, the hardware will simply cease to function. And you just got to throw it out. Absolutely ridiculous. They're using two excuses for this. One is that, uh, it's an important part of your experience, blah, blah, blah. They actually changed to the son the smartphone app in 2009. So that's a long time ago. But uh, people st loved this dedicated controller. Can no longer support many of the services and functions that are core to the Sonos experience. Okay, you know, like, I'll, I'll give them that. Fair enough. If it's old hardware and it can't still can't... I can't see how, from an engineering point of view, it can't do it. So that may be a complete load of bullshit. I'm not... Sure, but okay, let's just, you know, grant them that it's aging hardware and it can't continue to support the experience of Sonos anymore. Okay, fair enough, that might be a reason to uh, no longer update it. But to actually shut it off completely, that's just ridiculous. And we're seeing this time and time again in the market of companies actually just shutting off support for products. But anyway, they might have a technical reason there. They just don't elaborate on that. But more importantly, and they're saying this is the most in, uh, uh, important reason, is that they're protecting you. Oh, yes. Safety first. Um, it's powered from an internal lithium-ion battery. And um, sure enough... Here we go. You can actually buy uh, replacement batteries. It's in, it's not generally not supposed to be user replaceable, but you know it's not just a cover that slides off. But I think you probably have to like take the screws off. And but it looks like it's got a connector on there, so you just you know hook hook that up. People, so it, it doesn't look hard to actually uh, change the battery in it. But you know people do it all the time. And uh, sure enough, uh, it has the potential to overheat when left charging. For this reason, we can no longer continue to support the CR100 even in a limited way. So they're doing this for your safety. It's like you can say that's bullshit, right? Because uh, batteries typically will uh, lo just lose capacity with time. Capacity, geez, it doesn't work as much. I'll go buy a new one. And this is the same as practically every product on the market. So for them to use this as an excuse to actually do this,
that's a bit rich. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty much bullshit. Anyway, so they're saying, yeah, disconnect it and uh, responsibly recycle. Uh, drop them at your local e-waste center and all that because we're a good company and that's what we recommend to save the planet. Um, <laughs> saving the planet would have been continuing to support the old hardware. <sighs> Unbelievable. But, but they've deliberately bricked it. As of early April, we will no longer connect to the Sonos system. We'd like to show your appreciation for your loyalty. A hundred bucks off buying more Sonos stuff. Uh-uh. Wah, 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 wah. Jeez, this is just going to piss people off. And they go, oh, I'll give you a hundred. Not an Amazon gift voucher that you can buy a competing product. No. <laughs> for your next Sonos. They deliberately brick it, give you a hundred dollars off. They're already making that up in the margin anyway on the price of the new product that they're going to flog you. Unbelievable. Like, your actual Sonos device itself will still continue to work, but they're basically forcing people into using a smartphone app. Now, I, I, although I'm completely against this, I will play devil's advocate here and say that the... Where is it? Um, this, this CR100 that they're discontinuing, I believe it is like 13 years old. I actually searched for stuff going, you know, people talking about replacing their CR100 battery back in 2006. Um, actually, there's another one, 2005 here. Um, so it's it's really quite old. I mean, it's more than 10 years old. And in the uh, tech world, especially the connected tech world, that's a long time. So, you know, you could say, well, how long should they actually um, support this thing? Um, but still, you know, just discontinuing it completely so that it shuts off. That's just, that's just not on. The proverbial brown stuff has hit the fan and, you know, people are just up in arms about this thing. And, you know, except that they've given you, look, best answer. Um, I assume that's an employee. Ryan is Ryan S an employee. Anyway, except that you can either accept the upgrade. It will no longer connect, blah, blah, blah. Strong recommendation due to the age of the battery. Uh, you will continue to receive the latest features, bug fixes, blah, blah, all that sort of stuff. Granted, I can't see why they can just let it gracefully... You know, things just stop working over time. If they don't want to support it anymore, that's one thing. But hard disconnecting it and bricking it and just making people toss it in the bin, that's another thing entirely. Ignore. But you can ignore future upgrades. Um, we do not recommend this option. If you go this route, you're acknowledging the risk of the aging lithium-ion battery. Oh, geez, I think we're willing to accept it. Additionally, opt-in to upgrade may not receive any new feature security patches. Uh, unsupported, might not use connectivity, might lose connectivity to music services. Google Play Music, isn't that the, like the whole idea? It's like playing music. So that is ridiculous. But yeah, I'll give them that. It is an old bit of hardware. So it raises an interesting question. How long should companies support old hardware like this? In this case, more than a decade old dedicated controller. Leave your thoughts down in the comments. So I'm just playing a bit of devil's advocate there. But yeah, this is just a dick move. It really is. Um, just shutting shutting the thing off and going, screw you, um, your CR, we know you love your CR100, but screw you, you're going to have to throw it in the bin. Thank you very much. Here's a $100 gift voucher. Go and buy our latest one. Ha, <laughs> Sonus, what a bunch of dicks. I was actually in the market for one of these. Um, for I, I actually, I tweeted this about a month ago or something. I was looking for wireless like a spotify device that plays uh that can just play spotify but has a dedicated controller like it's a speaker it just hooks up to wi-fi it has the speakers and it has the control panel built in and i swear i could not find one the twitterverse couldn't really find one they said i oh, use a sonos a sonos or use it with connected to a i an old iphone or ipad or something like that and no, no, it's, I like these dedicated controllers. From an engineering and functional point of view, nothing beats these dedicated things. So anyway, thumbs down to Sonos for their dick move. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Catch you next time.